Welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to fix Wi-Fi or the Wi-Fi icon right here if it's missing from settings or it's not showing right here in your taskbar. All right, as you can see here, when I click on it, I don't have it as well, or I don't have the option to select a Wi-Fi connection. So the first thing that you would need to um, make sure is that your computer must have a built-in Wi-Fi receiver, okay? If you're using a desktop, okay, most of desktops or most of desktops motherboard doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi, okay? As you can see here, I'm using a desktop and my motherboard doesn't support or doesn't have built-in Wi-Fi hardware. So that results to not having a Wi-Fi option in here. Now, if you want to use Wi-Fi in your desktop that doesn't have a built-in Wi-Fi receiver, well, you can go ahead and use dongles, all right? I've been using these dongles before when I don't have a pretty long LAN cable. So just go ahead and look it up online, uh, Wi-Fi dongles, like so, as you can see here, you have a ton of options right here. And the one I mainly use is this one, the WN725N, all right? I use this one, I plug it in, it's plug and play, don't worry about it. And once you plug it in, you can now go ahead and uh, see Wi-Fi right here. Now, if you're using a laptop, all right, and you still don't see a Wi-Fi icon right here, well, that means that your system got a problem because laptops, all right, do have built-in Wi-Fi receivers, as we all know. So to fix that, first up, go ahead over to your search bar and type in device manager, like so, and hit on enter, okay? And in here, you'll be able to see a list of your devices. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead over to network adapters, all right? And in here, we have this PCIe GPU family controller, or whatever it is that is available on your computer, okay? Make sure to click on the first result in here, right click, then make sure to uninstall, okay? Once uninstalled, go ahead and restart computer, and to check if it helps, okay? Now, if that still won't work, go ahead over to your search bar and type in system updates, all right? I'm gonna wanna click on check for updates. Click on it. Now in here, just check for updates and if there are available updates, go ahead and install those and once done, don't restart your computer yet. Go ahead over to advanced options, click on optional updates and make sure that everything right here is installed as well especially for those drivers that says Ethernet, okay, or Internet, all right? Once everything is installed, you can now go ahead and restart your computer. And once done, everything should be fixed now. Well, I hope this video helps, and I'll see you in the next one.